Hello friends, in this video we are going to be looking at how we can edit or adjust facial features in Adobe Photoshop. In case you want to follow along with this image, the image is available for download in the description. This is Twisted Creative, I'd like to be my name, my name. It's first time on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not just hitting that subscribe button, also ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Without wasting much time, let's get straight into it. So this is Photoshop and this is the model we are going to be using. We just have to go to Filter then liquefy. If you want to adjust facial features and it's not working, the face is not recognized. For you to know that the face is not recognized, you have to check face aware liquefy. This face aware liquefy area must not be graded out. If it is graded out, Photoshop does not recognize the face. So we have to start adjusting. We have the eyes, nose, mouth, and face. And inside that eyes, we have eye size, eye height, eye width, eye tilt, so we are going to be starting by this first one, which is the eye size. If you take a look at the image, you notice that it's just the left eye that is being adjusted. So in order for you to adjust both eyes at the same time, this is a link in between. So if you enable the link now, that means you are going to be adjusting both at the same time. Then we are going to start adjusting these eyes by making it a little bit big. At least like 31 should be okay then we have to go to the eyes heights we're still going to link both of them so as to adjust both of them at the same time so we have to enable this link then we can adjust the height of the eyes you can make it smaller you can make it bigger depending on what you want so let's just leave it this way at at six should be okay then the next one should be eye width. Then we'll enable the link. Then we can, we can adjust the width when the eyes is longer, is better. So let's make it like 30, I think, let's leave it at 45. Go to the eye teeth, it's very, very interesting. Let's enable the link. The eye teeth is that if you are teething eyes, if somebody's eyes is like this, that means the person is not that's beautiful, but it's going to be beautiful when it goes the other way. You can see. So like this, it's going to be more beautiful with the eyes this way. So let's leave it at something like uh, 66 should be okay. Let's leave it this way. Then the next one is uh, eye distance. Eye distance does not have a link because if you're adjusting the distance, you are just adjusting just one thing. So in between, you have to bring it a little bit close. If you check a little bit further, it's not going to look good. If the more you come close, you notice that the model is becoming more beautiful. So you have to leave it somewhere. Too close is not too good. Too close is not too good. Let's leave it here. I think it should be okay here. The next one, we'll go to the nose. The first one is the nose height. The nose height, you know what the nose eye height is? We are not going to link anything here because the nose is just one. So if you take it back, you can see what is happening. And if you take it up, you see what's happening. So we are going to make it a little bit close to the lip. We are going to make it a little bit close to the lip to cover the space in between the lip. The space is looking too much. So we have to bring it down to make the nose a little bit longer. So we have it like this. Then the next one is the nose width. The nose width. So we have to adjust this. If you take it back, it's closing up. And if you take it forward, it's opening up. So we are kind of, we are going to leave it like this to make the nose more sharp and beautiful. So we have to leave it at something like 30 minus 36 should be okay. We'll go to the next one, which is the mouth. We have smile, upper lips, lower lips, mouth width, and mouth height. So we have to adjust the smile first. Eyes of this model is not looking like somebody that is smiling. A true smile brings wrinkle around the eyes. If you have to adjust and add smile, there's not going to be wrinkle on the eyes, so it's going to be fake smile. So we are going to take it down to remove smile. We have to remove smile this time to make it more serious. So we have the smile at minus 70. Then the upper lips. We are going to take it up or down. If the upper lips is facing down, it's not going to be beautiful. But if it is lifted, it's going to look more beautiful. So let's see. Let's lift it a bit. 
at least it's sharp enough we can leave it at 85 85 then the next one is the lower lip if you take it forward you notice that you are reducing the lip and if you bring it backward you are increasing the size of the lower lip so i think we should leave it somehow minus 57 should be okay for the lower lip now we are going to the mouth width if we take this forward now we notice that the width of the mouth is going to be increased and if we take it backward it's going to be reduced and this face is going to be looking more beautiful if the mouth is very very small very small you know what i mean so we have to do it like we have to place something like minus 60. then the mouth height the mouth height we have to take it up a bit like as uh, we are seeing something here which is not that right so we have to reduce it to match and see how we can manage with that okay i think it's okay like this then i think we are almost done the next one is going to be the face shape under the face shape we have forehead we have forehead the forehead is already covered if it is a huge forehead would have reduced but i believe it's okay like this then we can see push it up to make the face longer then the chin let's see how the chin is going to fit okay let's make it longer and it's going to be okay so minus 70 should be okay for the chin then the jawline we have to adjust to to reduce the size of the jaw to reduce the jawline we have to reduce it so as to make the face a little bit slimmer you know model so the last one should be the face width the face width we have to take it back to reduce the width of the face if you take it forward the face is going to be wide and if you take it backward the face is going to be the face is going to be slim so we have it this way let's say minus 50 there but minus 50 is okay then have a look at this image take a look at this image now let's if we should if we should see the before and after let's see the before and after let's see the preview here if we remove this preview and you notice what happened here though the girl is still beautiful but this other one is a kind of very smart and more beautiful so let's see this is before this is after this is before this is after this is before and this is after so that is it for this video if you find it interesting helpful or useful please make sure you hit that like button and also drop a comment telling us the area it has helped the area it has not and the area we need to improve on like i said earlier if you are new on this channel please do me a favor do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button not just hitting that subscribe button also ring that notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime a new video is released thanks for watching today's video creative people keep on creating please stay creative see you in the next video bye for now